I want to talk about driving a shitty car. Okay? Because I drive a shitty car. I drive a really shitty car. Let me just paint a picture for you. It's the kind of car that a grandmother who's widowed, living on fixed income, would be happy to see burn. It's the biggest piece of shit you could ever see. And it's not even like it was cool ever. When it was brand new, it was still a total piece of shit. So I've been having some problems with my car lately. And part of me is like, well, you know, you don't have a car payment. So just think of this as like your one car payment for the year. You got to get it towed back home and buy the part and fix it. Okay. But the other part of me wants to go outside and light it on fire and have a bonfire with grandma. I just, I, I don't know what to do. It's cutting into my private time where I like to make videos for everybody here. It's cutting into uh, my drinking time, which is also my private time when I like to make videos for you here. So there's a lot going on here. Uh, but let's just kind of uh, break down the pros of driving a shitty vehicle. If you're married and you're driving a shitty vehicle, well, you're going to stay married, okay? You're not cheating on your wife driving a 2002 Ford Focus. I don't care if it's the SVT. I don't care if it's a dual overhead cam with a whopping 172 horsepower at the crank. You're, you're not going to cheat on your wife if you're driving that car. It's going to keep you married. Number two, relatively good gas mileage, all right? But most new cars have decent gas mileage. Uh, number three, pretty cheap, pretty cheap. I paid for it uh, cash out of pocket, uh, but I also like to say 49 more payments and that's all mine. Uh, just to kind of, you know, keep people guessing, like, is he really, is he really that hard up for cash? Nobody knows. The guy that I bought it from, he got rid of it because he thought it was unreliable. I drive it back and forth from southern Oklahoma to northern Kansas every weekend. So I'm kind of just rolling the dice on that one. So for the miles that I put on it, it's okay. But I don't know. I think I should wrap this one up. Uh, in closing, drive a cheap-ass car, you're going to have to fix it. Drive a cheap-ass car, you're going to stay married. So... God bless.